Sachi, where you flying today? I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and out, in and out of state. Attention, please. The curbside lanes on the upper and lower levels are restricted to vehicles loading and unloading only. For security reasons, unattended vehicles in front of the terminal will be ticketed and immediately towed. good people I'm smiling under here you can't see but I am smiling and it is a good morning I'm excited because we're well, not excited I'm okay about it but I'm on another AM literally I've had AMs all month and my body is in some capacity getting accustomed to like waking up early and I'm actually liking that because I can't stress enough how much AMs um, are more beneficial than PMs like I get a lot more out of um, AMs than PM trips but um, we have three flights today two flights tomorrow three flights the last day I know we go from Chicago to Nashville. I don't know where else after Nashville, but I know that we either end up in St. Louis today or Milwaukee. And then tomorrow we either end up in Milwaukee or St. Louis, whichever one. But I do have those two overnights, I can't think. But of course, you guys know that you'll be the first to find out where I go when um, I find out or when I actually look at my schedule and check it out. But good morning. I hope everyone has a great day. If you are new here, I'm Ashley Smith TV. I'm a travel vlogger, flight attendant, YouTuber. And I talk about all things travel. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, my Instagram is ashleysmith.tv. Send me a message, say hey, and then also follow me on Twitter where I talk a lot of shit. It's Ashley Smith TV. So, you guys, I've just gotten on board. We have about like 25 minutes. Got here early, decided not to go to the lounge this morning, was not feeling it. Um, but I'm about to check my equipment. Oh, I'm flying the B position, which you guys know is in the back. I'm about to check my equipment, do a security check, place my belongings up, and yeah, I just met our C flight attendant. Her name is Juliana. The A is in here and neither are our pilots. But yeah, again, good morning and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, good people. I don't know if I told you guys. I don't think I told you guys, but we um, had a flight to Orlando, but before we got to Orlando, we had to go to Nashville. So, today's trip consists of Chicago, Nashville, Nashville to Orlando which we're in Orlando now and then Orlando to Milwaukee and then tomorrow I know that we have two flights where exactly can't remember but I do know that we end in St. Louis okay so tomorrow we go Milwaukee Houston Houston St. Louis and then the very last day we have three legs we go from St. Louis to Tampa Tampa to DCA and then DCA to home to Chicago I'm um, eating a salad because I'm hungry. I have a food bag with actual food in it. <laughs> but there's this salad bar. It's a salad, panini, and smoothie bar in Orlando that I absolutely love. And I just had to stop in and get me a salad because they're so bomb. I love them, love them, love them. I think it's called like bananas or something like that, but it's in... Um, our concourse and it's so freaking good oh my god so I just had to even though I have food in my food bag I'll eat that later but I really just wanted to grab a salad but I'm about to munch on this and I'll see you guys either in flight or when I get to um, Milwaukee Oh, how nice is this? 
Got a living room, desk area, sink. <laughs> that is cool. And then <clears throat> we have the bedroom, a nice mirror, television, lounge chair, closet. Okay, it's in here. Love it. And then we have the bathroom. Hmm. I don't mind it. It's nice in here. Alrighty, guys. Day complete. Please use tissues to push elevator buttons. I like that. Alright, let's get off. Okay, my hair is looking crazy because it's like windy and it won't stay in place, but y'all hey y'all hey we have made it to milwaukee it's not much to see as of yet but i am like out exploring there's a public market that i want to actually try to go to it's about four o'clock we landed at like 2 55 we just got to our hotel i got in i changed and now um i'm out i'm out to see milwaukee see what milwaukee has to offer um, I'm gonna go and have dinner. I'll probably be out for like an hour or two, nothing too long, but so nice out here. Like I could not not go out and enjoy the weather. I hate that my hair is blowing because it's only cute when it's not moving and it's not in place. Um, but yeah, so I'm using my GPS and I'm just hoping that GPS does not let me down. But um, I think I'm figuring it out seems like it's a lot more people down here so I'm probably going the right way so I don't know if you guys can hear me but we're in Milwaukee's public market there's like a ton of people this reminds me of Philadelphia's um, Reading Terminal but it's a lot of cute little shops in here with a bunch of food stuff that I really don't need to take part in or eat but I, at some point, want to indulge because it looks so yummy and I'm so hungry. Oh my god. Cheat day, right? 
And then I also got bananas for like the morning breakfast because I'm always like so hungry in the morning, but I don't like to eat heavy. So I just got some bananas because I didn't go grocery shopping before I came on this trip. So my bag is kind of um, limited on what's in it. But that's also the reason why I'm not eating um, eating out because I have spaghetti to go home and warm up when I'm all done here. But it's so nice outside, like seriously. It's so nice outside. Milwaukee is so nice. There's water over there. I'll probably walk there. But it's honestly so funny because every time I go to a new city, like I love being able to um, find like a public market. Like, you know, in Philly, they have Reading Terminal and I love those. And literally those are places are actually really dangerous though because I'll leave and have purchased like every single food they have in there. They have seafood here, smoothie bars, a regular alcoholic bar. Um, anything you want or may have a taste for, they have it here. Okay, good people. I have finished in um, the public market. I showed you guys the snacks that I got. Now I'm like out here by the water, just sitting down, honestly enjoying my own company. Um, I went live on Instagram and I talked about how my um, coworker, like how we were all supposed to go out. Well, one actually wanted to go solo and then the other wanted to walk and um, go out. And at the time I thought that I was just gonna stay in my room and eat. So I told her like, no, I wasn't interested, but I really should have just told her that it, like, we should have just hung out. But at the time, like I didn't feel like going out, but then I thought about it and I'm like, this weather is way too nice just to sit in my hotel room. So then I had went to knock on her room door and um, she didn't answer. So I'm just assuming that she was already out and I had missed her. So I was kind of sad about that because it would have been nice to um, spend it with somebody. But I, honestly, I didn't mind like hanging out by myself because I actually enjoy my own company too, but it also would have been nice to spend more time with my coworkers. But we do spend all day together, so it is nice to step away and like, you know, be by yourself. But I'm about to head back to the hotel. I got my snacks. I'm gonna go warm up my spaghetti and get ready for bed, y'all, because we have an early report tomorrow. And I also um, wanna get back to the hotel before my battery dies because it is on um, like 9% and I still need the GPS to find my way back to our hotel location. So yeah, but it's also um, good to know for this overnight that if it is nice outside, they have like a trail or whatever that you can like walk and run on because I don't have any of my running gear. Well, I have like the outfit and stuff, but the gym shoes, I don't have any running shoes. But next time I'll know to bring some running shoes because Milwaukee is like a really nice overnight and it's also not that far from Chicago, but I'm heading back to the hotel and um, yeah. Hey y'all, hey, good morning. I'm checking in with you guys on the plane. We're heading to Houston, then we go from Houston to St. Louis. It's day two, two flights, we're on an 800. That means we have an additional flight attendant. And yeah, I am well rested. I had my breakfast and I am <laughs> staying hydrated. Courtesy of Starbucks, sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I think we have like 16 hours, but I had a fabulous, fabulous overnight in Wisconsin or Milwaukee. Such a great overnight. Really enjoyed the market. I loved my snacks. I enjoyed um, the hotel, which is cool because you guys know that I'm not a fan of antique hotels, but as of lately, I've been getting a lot of them and they haven't been that bad. They've been actually nice. So love that for me. I love that for me. But we're about to start boarding and head out to Houston. See you there. Alrighty, good people, we have made it to Houston. Houston, Houston. We have about an hour and 40, well, we had about an hour and 40 minutes on the ground, but I think right now we have close to an hour now. We have close to an hour. Um, it's humid, it's raining, it's hot in Houston, but I think I have like the right hair for Houston. If I was actually gonna stay in Houston, um, I can take this down because nobody's really around me. Not staying in Houston, we just have ground time and then we're gonna head on over to St. Louis. But I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. I did not get um, any footage on our last flight because we're on an 800, as you guys can see. 
and the 800 was only filled to 82 passengers. And you know, an 800 aircraft holds 175. So we were not full. The D flight attendant had to do a zone count so that our weight and balance was fine for us to take off and land. And then, you know, it's also a morning flight too, so everyone was pretty much sleeping. So service was very light last our last flight and this flight. <laughs> We're actually going to be completely full. I think it's overbooked or oversold to like 179. So we're going to be filled up completely. And our flight time from actually our flight time from um, Wisconsin to Houston was just about two hours. It was blocked at 250, but I think it was like 222. And our flight from Houston to St. Louis is going to be around. Um, a little short of like an hour 30 so we're going to be finished around i believe like 1 30 p.m in st louis central time which is fine you know i'm so okay with that like being done early to get out and explore the city i'm not sure what the weather is but i feel like it has chicago similarities and it's really nice in chicago so there's that um but let's check i got some time I can check. I didn't need to go to the lounge or anything because I didn't want to, um, I didn't have anything to warm up. Well, it's still early and I'm going to eat when I get to the hotel. Um, and I'm not really hungry, so yeah. Oh, it's raining in Chicago, so it just might be raining in, in St. Louis. Uh -huh. Ah, it's not, it's actually not. It's 81 degrees in St. Louis. It's sunny outside perfect weather for the I was going to say the beach but perfect weather for the pool sweet I love that I love 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 that and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my phone because the battery life this is the 12 pro and the battery life used to be like awesome but now my phone doesn't even stay charged throughout the entire day like it's at half battery before the day even starts I don't know what's going on with Apple and or whatnot I don't know if I have a defected um battery but my sister and I both got our phones at the same time and hers is like not, not doing that she also doesn't use her phone as much as I do but it still shouldn't matter how often I use my phone like the battery shouldn't drain like that because initially when I got the phone I wasn't experiencing um you know a short battery so I have to go get that looked at when I go back um when I get back home my overnight we talked about my overnight it's beautiful I'm well rested <laughs> looking forward to getting home though um, it's a little exhausting continuously working weekends and especially having FOMO and missing out on like the activities that are back at home. Um, I'm just going to try to figure out how I can rearrange my schedule to ensure that I'm like off weekends because there's a lot of stuff happening that I kind of don't really want to miss out on um, because I have to work. So we're going to see if I can, you know, pull some strings, move around some blocks, trips to ensure that, um, I can possibly have the weekend off, so we'll see. But you guys, we got ground time. I'm here for a little bit. Not much to talk about, but just wanted to let you guys know that I've landed in Houston and we have one more flight to our overnight in St. Louis. Hey y'all, hey. Um, so we went from the plane. I told you guys that I was gonna see you in, um, I think I said I was gonna see you in St. Louis. I am in St. Louis, but obviously I'm not at the airport. I've made it to my hotel and it's really cute around here. I can't wait to step outside and like show you guys around the place, but this is my room. We only have one bed. We have a little chair. We have a table. We walk in, got the chest, and then we have bathroom. Hey y'all, hey. And then we have the tub. It actually smells like a Lysol in here because I sprayed Lysol on everything. Oh, I have to spray it on my dress. But I'm about to change it to my bikini or my bathing suit and head to the pool. Alrighty guys, this is my hotel. Look how nice it is. And then we have the beautiful, lovely pool area. Stay out here and get some sun. Love to see it. Ooh. Okay, I don't know how you get in here, but we're gonna find it. Oh, okay, over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Found it. That's so nice. Oh, 
cool, cool, cool. Y'all, we are still sitting out here. It feels so good in St. Louis. Like, I really don't want to go in, but I'm hungry. What are we? It's 5.19. It's 5.19 p.m. I'm going to eat my spaghetti when I go upstairs. But y'all, look at my hair. It's still intact. I took the clip out and let my bang hang again. I cannot wait to go home and shampoo my hair. And tomorrow we have three flights. We go from... Where are we? St. Louis to Tampa, Tampa somewhere, and then somewhere home to Chicago. So I'm really looking forward to go home day because I'm ready to go home. But y'all, still out here, feels so good. This is the beauty about AMs. You get done early, you get to enjoy the hotel or the city. Whatever your choice is, you get the time and the opportunity. So just enjoy, just enjoy like I did last, or I was gonna say last night, I met yesterday afternoon in um, Milwaukee. Let's hang out to Milwaukee or St. Louis, whatever y'all got the picture. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are on board. We're on board. It's day three. We're about to be finished. Well, not about to be finished. Sorry, we're about to start. But it's day three. Change my hair, put it up in a bun or like a pineapple. Sorry, put it up in a pineapple. And yeah, day three, we go to Tampa, somewhere else, and then Chicago. I don't know why I still have not um, realized where we go after Tampa, but walking up we have a lot of wheelchairs heading to tampa i think the flight time is like two and a half hours here from milwaukee but duty day is like 8 20 but it's okay because it's go home day go home day nothing can well i don't want to say nothing can ruin go home day because <laughs> they can but it's just all positive vibes today all positive vibes well rested ready to get started it's a bit chilly on the aircraft now it's pretty empty i need to open up these bins and um check my equipment but we're here early um, because we stayed so far away from the airport, we had to leave a lot earlier than um, than we normally do. Um, so we're here now, and we're heading to Tampa. So time to check the equipment, board up, and head down to Florida. much because we have been busy three flights but just like that we're back home in Chicago <laughs> well, I'm so happy to be back the weather is so nice and it's time to turn up and have a ball um but thank you guys so much for tuning in I wish I had more video for you today but you know sometimes you get it sometimes you don't but go ahead like share and subscribe to my YouTube and I'll see you guys in my next video bye I've been flying in it, in it Like I said guys, I want to get back on the AMs. I think I am now, like I said last night, officially an AM flyer. These PMs are wearing me out. Need a clap, ready at 30 foul. Some feet feels like bar. A means up and down, in and out. Ask me what it's all about. Touch the ground, walk it out. Take it out, this ain't it like. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out.